This is the 10th. I don't even know how many times trying to scan my face for this prelude. We got over 9,000 reference points. Last couple were like 5,000. I look like some alien. You see in the videos from previous 2Ks, you know what I'm talking about. The scan quality is great. Can we finally get it? Is this the final one? Please, I don't want to do this again. You know what? It's a little whack, but I'll take it. I will take it. It's not the best. We're going to add some hair. We're going to add some everything. Still kind of looks wonky, but hopefully we can go back eventually and do it again. So we're going to cut this video, add some hair, and we'll come back to the rest of the creation. We're back. You know, I ended up rescanning a couple more times to try it again, but after you add some hair, some beard, eyebrows, it ain't half bad. It's still not the best scan. I think if you go watch Gento's video, he's got the best scan. I mean, it's perfect practically but uh you know you see the nose is a little off with the nostrils but it's nothing to complain about and it's gonna be a little more come winter time when i grow the beard out you know we're gonna be rocking something like that so it's gonna look even better so i like it we can always rescan again but for right now it works and i just recently cut my hair too which is sad so we can't have the long hair and the man bun on this one but we'll go with the parted so that's uh, that's gonna wrap up the creation we're gonna jump into the prelude or whatever we got next we gotta pick our position probably Oh, we can begin. Well, first, we're going to look at... I guess we can check out the store real quick. Oh, you must start career. Okay. No doubt. What about the inventory? All right. Well, then let's jump with the career then. Okay. So here we got the position picking. I mean, I always run... Most people run point guard. I always have. I have since like 2K10. It's just... I do create a center as a backup eventually just because. But I think for right now... We are go. We are yeah. We are. We're going to go point guard. Now this is where it becomes interesting, and you can only have certain badges. It's looking like so. Do we want a playmaker? We got some dribbling. We have no post scoring. That's fine. The agility. Where's our shooting? That's my main problem. Shooting. So two out of fifteen. Oh, lockdown defender has no shooting. Okay, that's bad. But you got that defense, the agility gets up, the strength, defending. Playmaker, this is going to be a great passer. You can be an okay shooter as well. A slasher, you're going to be able to drive. This is basically your athletic point guard, it seems. Decent defending, good agility, no scoring though, so there's no way I could do that, especially for Park. Uh, shot creator. Uh, shoot off dribble is nice. The layup and dunk, mid range, three's okay. Decent playmaking. This might be the one I go for. The sharpshooter, of course, you got the threes, but no, nothing else. So, man. They are really not giving you any options. I'm going to kind of go through these and uh, pick out, and then we're going to come back later, and I'll let you know what I choose. So I'm back, and I'm debating between playmaker and shot creator. Now, shot creator's got, of course, you know, the great shots, the layups, the dribbles, the threes. But I was really breaking it down. You see the 14 available for playmaking, whereas if you go up to playmaker, you get 25. Everything else is pretty much even. The three and mid are 15 and 16, whereas this is 13 and 17, so it's actually worse. The best thing about this is the layup and dunk and the shooting off the dribble, but it's only two better than the layup and dunk. So we're gonna go with playmaker, plus we can get that better overall with that playmaking ability. The defending's okay. The only thing they're lacking with this is post scoring. I like to take some fades, but it's not that big of a deal. Strength and rebounding, again, not that big of a deal for the point guards. So we're gonna go with Playmaker. We're picking it. Oh, now here comes the hard parts. Oh boy. All right, so this is your standard 6-1. Now, the shorter you get, the worse your dunking gets, the better your shooting gets. Well, layups and stuff like that. Your box out, your rebounding, your blocks go down, but your steals go up. Let's, well, that's interesting. I mean, I could just do this and be standard. I don't really care about standing dunk, though. My main thing is the shooting right now. Where's the shooting and ball handling at? Speed with ball, ball control, passing accuracy. So those are going to be very important. I don't want to... Hmm. Usually I'm about 6'3", though. Uh, we'll do that. We can do 6'3". 6'2", maybe? Plus six three. Oh man.
We'll do six two. Okay, now here this comes. All right, so that was just oh, okay. So the longer your arms, and you're gonna be able to block shots more, but your stats go down overall. I mean, should I go little dinosaur arms? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't want to have. I'm not gonna have a point guard, so does it really matter? I mean, let's see. I don't think it really matters though. We'll go. What's that? 78. We'll go down to 70. 76.5. We'll do that. Not too short. Alright, so the weight. Lower your weight. Better speed, better acceleration. It's just contact dunks, strength, and box out. So, standard, probably 200. 195. We'll go down to 185. Or 180. 6'3, 180. I'll take that. 6'2, 6'3. I forgot to did. Choose your shoulder width. Does this really make a difference? I don't think it. Let's do 20. 21. I'm a righty. Gotta go 24. That's nothing to Kobe. That's my birthday. May 24th. I always love that number. And we are gonna begin our career, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump right into it.